Hi, we are back on the I know wait here um wait here a minute before we start the intro. Uh, and then we will um yeah, watch the intro and then uh get get started. Yeah, thanks you back to my eyes. So hopefully uh, I should have enough this space yeah, for this. Oh, let's check this real quick. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Yeah. Quick what? Uh, restarting or uh, beating Jedi the Lions 2? I mean, I've spent like three or four hours uh, last night playing Jedi the Lions 2. And uh, we spent, what, another probably hour and a half tonight getting to uh, Medina? Alright, so let's uh, take off the start swing. Oh, are we starting? Yeah. That didn't take long. I have everything set up. So uh, let's get uh, Star Wolves up here. Another game by 1C Publishing. Same company, uh, uh, same uh, publisher as uh, King's Bounty. More than a hundred years have passed since the beginning of human expansion in space. During this time, humanity has grown up and become stronger, united by the iron hand of the Empire. The Imperial Navy, supported by the patrol, ensures that the Emperor maintains power throughout all of known space. But the true power belongs to three giant corporations controlling everything on all inhabited planets. Life there goes on under strict control by the system. Only space grants freedom. But are you ready to pay its real price? Station Coriolis, this is transport, they are 1236, heading on course, expected time of arrival, 25 minutes. Gregory, they are 1236, waiting your arrival, good luck. Unknown contact detected, we have guests. Attention, this is Zen or they are 1236. I am under attack from unknown fighters. to change the uh, title there so um, give me a second here and um, I will uh, be changed that change the title here um, so give me one second here uh, so yeah, the voice acting in this game is really bad. 
Yeah, it's like they only had like 50 cents for our uh, voice, voice acting here. So let's go to the dashboard. And yeah, let's get some Star Wolves here. should be updated now. Uh, the title should be updated now. Right. Give me one more second to send out another uh, Twitter message that everybody knows I'm playing some Star Wars 2 here. Um, Let's get the game on the wall here. Yeah, yeah, the uh, voice acting is definitely not the game's strong point. The music in this game is, uh, is well done. Uh, I need to uh, rearrange my desktop here a little bit before we begin. Even though I'm running this in window mode, the uh, window itself, we cannot move it. So we have to move everything else around the game itself. So I need to rearrange my windows here a little bit. And yes, we are ready to start this. And you do not need a joystick to uh, play this game. So this is a uh, mouse driven game. And um, this is almost to be considered like uh, Baldur's Gate in space ish, but not quite. So let's go to the tutorial. I did go through this once before off stream, but I want to refresh my memory here a little bit on uh, some of the basic controls of this game because um, it's very important. So let's do a tutorial here. Alright. Well, I'm almost there. Hello, fellow. I'm glad you decided to become a missionary. I know your transport ship was brought down by pirates. Believe me, I know what that's like. I think you'll be an excellent workmate, but handling a fighter isn't the same as handling a transporter. Let's meet at the old training area at the patrol and we will see what you can do. Quest log, you can access it by hitting the Q key. So you can see there's a quest log, there's nothing in it yet. First, let's get the external camera control system. Take a look around, we'll take the camera around the ship. Camera is focused, didn't set by default. Touch on the edge of the screen. I can hold the right mouse button and you can move it all over the place here. You know, vertical. And then you, have to, uh, you can zoom out. You can zoom out pretty far here. And uh, we zoom in. I 
make sure this quest log updates. Alright. As far as I know, there are no mods for this game. Unless you know Russian. If you know Russian, there are a few mods for uh, Star Wars 1. Alright, so. This is our quest log here. Alright. Hmm? So, in the upper right hand corner of the HUD, right on the camera control panel, there is the contacts panel. As soon as the ship comes into your radar range, the bookmark of the ship appears there. Using this bookmark, you can focus on that ship and give your orders concerning it. So, if you do this, you can see the ship that we're supposed to follow here. So, we focus on my fighter here. There we go, you can focus on any fighter. When another ship enters the view, a bookmark appears in the contacts panel. Red means enemy, yellow means neutral. Yeah, this game is going to be a little confusing when it starts out because the controls are a little awkward. Yeah, you can choose your ship by double clicking on it or clicking on your portrait at the bottom of the screen. Double clicking on this panel allows you to focus on the ship. Back in, I'll go back to my ship. Uh, what happened to my cursor? Oh, I lost my cursor. Um, my cursor is gone. mouse control here. I can zoom in and zoom out, but that's about it. There we go. So we zoom all the way in, you gotta be careful here. So now I'm gonna follow. This is where the confusion part is. Affirm. Um. I got it. There you go. And then you'll move towards the ship here. Stuff like this, so you can see the height of the vertical plane. And you also can speed up time here. There is a normal speed, pause, you can increase the speed as well. Much like an RTS. Yeah, I heard that the second game was bad and that the third game was uh, really good. But we will, will be playing through the entire series. So, um, let's see, uh, we still need to get closer to this guy. Let's speed up time. Thank you. 
missing something here. I forgot how to actually uh Affirm. This is the this is the confusion part of the game is learning how to actually move. an enemy Yeah, the music is really done really well in this game. The next one willing to die. I think my uh, co-pilot is actually killing all of these things right now. Stream. We're playing some Star Wolves here. We just got done beating uh, Jedi Alliance 2 a little, a little while ago. So. No, no, no. So we're going through the tutorial here because this game's a little uh, wonky here with the controls. Uh, 
You don't actually control them shooting. You can only tell them to do the things that they need to do and they go and do it. So this is not like uh, Wing Commander or uh, any of those uh, shooter type of... Uh, shooter type of, of uh, space games. You can specify your target and uh, your dude will go and attack it. Basically, it's all in G on whether or not you hit the target or not. Oh, I made progress. Yeah, the attack neutral targets, you're gonna have to uh, give a special order. Huh? There's a beacon. to the uh, boy here. I'm gonna speed up here a little bit. Oh, hello there, Lionette. Welcome to the stream. Alright. So now, we can hold the control and uh, force an attack here. You pause the game and you can... Uh, Enemy Full contact. Speed. Done and ready. Alright, so we were able to uh, destroy a buoy. We are off with an app. We can do something with it. There you go. This map shows all the systems in an outline. While in the map mode, you can give orders to move along distances and set orders to attack. All key places are also shown on the map. I marked a place of destination on the map. Let's fly there. Destination. And like always, you can always speed it up with uh, game speed here. There's nothing exciting gonna happen here. Since this is a tutorial after all. Yeah, moving is probably the hardest thing to do in this game. Congratulations, you completed the first part of this tutorial. Yay! We have arrived in our part of the system, by the way. The refit is completely finished. I hit our new metal ship not far from here. I call it Star Wolf. Yes, we will continue. Alright, what's our first objective here? To help train you, I have damaged my fighter. 
But don't worry, I am pretty safe here. Time to use the nanobiotic repair system to restore my ship into full working order. So, the user extended system is to select the operation menu of the panel of the pilot and activate the system by left clicking on its icon. So, as you see here, you have the options here. So, you can launch missiles or you can use the troll, which is the uh, healing thing. So, we're going to do healing here. The thing about using the uh, systems here is that when you use a system, you cannot attack. So you cannot use the system and attack at the same time. Wing is the main tactical unit. There must be one leader in it and the second wingman who can do the different tasks. Right now, we are in two different wings and our panels have different colors. Left click on my portrait and drag it into yours. So we can fly separately here. Or we can combine these and we can join as a, as a, as a team effort. Now we're going to same wing with the leader because I joined you. You can separate the wing by dragging my portrait from the, its panel. But don't do it right now though. It is time to learn how the group system works. Last time you activated the system, it worked by it worked only on the ship that had it installed. The effect from the use of a, of a group system is applied to every craft in the wing. That system can only be operated by the second wingman. To activate it, you have to select the task from the task menu and apply a panel. Missile defense, for example. So there you go. You go uh, Okay, missile defense here. Perfect! Now, get ready to attack. So there'll be a monster coming to this portal, I believe. Oh, I have to put it in attack mode. Okay. Now, I'll tell you about the unique ability of pilots. Each pilot has a unique ability that gives you a bonus during a fight. But these only work for a short period of time. The number of times the ability can be used is limited, however. Good, now to talk about. What the range of our radar? Our standard radar can locate a target at a distance of 160 clicks from the ship. However, there is an expensive kit available that can improve this range. Remember, he who sees the enemy first has the advantage in the fight. Good radar saved my bacon so many times during the service in the patrol. Ah, oh, my fellow patrol is nearby. He says he's tracking some pirates moving in our position. It seems like now I think there will be no problem to deal with them. Now is our ideal time to talk about missile attack and the practice. Click on the missile attack button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can order your wing to commit the missile attack on a selected target. Missiles in this game are not that useful. So missiles are on.
What am I missing here? I'm not doing something right. Yeah, the music in this game is really good. Really nice. Let's look at the log here. Eliminate the pies by using this one attack. And nobody's moving. Okay, so many missiles. So it's better to have a better gunner than it is to have guys really good at missiles. Because you're gonna be uh, using the gun most of the time. Luckily you can skip in this game. I could probably I don't know if you can save in the tutorial or not. But I can try before we get we get to the second part of it. So yeah, dying in the tutorial, so you know how uh, serious this game is. Him. No, we're following him, so we'll be good. Alright, first tutorial complete. Mothership, we call it the Star Wolf here. Yeah? 
There's only two parts to this tutorial, so this is the second one. So, we cannot save the tutorial, as I figured. Uh, we can skip this part. Uh, we can skip this part. Pudding, welcome to the stream. Yes, Jake Pudding, I beat Jack the Lions to uh, tonight. Killed the Queen. The Queen is no longer alive. And we're starting our playthrough of uh, Star Wolf 1. So, it's going to all be pretty cool here. I don't see none of you try to use a sniper shot. Right. As you can see, there's like 10 seconds before you can reuse it. As I was saying earlier, so these are all kinds of special skills here. Okay. Let's see if we can actually kill some of our ships this time. When I played, when I did this off stream, I did not have any problems killing these two ships. But since I'm streaming while we're gonna have problems. So. Once we get out of the tutorial message, you'll be able to. This is the, you know, when we get out of this tutorial, we'll be able to. Uh, Do the, see the RPG portion of this. Oh 
are my guys doing? Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing something here. My guys are following out much. Look at the map. Maybe I'll look at the quest log. He does follow his missiles, but doesn't take out the ship, obviously. Too. So there's my problem. Okay. Now I think we'll be in good shape. Now that I uh, enabled the missiles for both of both my pilots, we should have a chance of winning here. Then use our missiles to take out these two ships. Now let's double check this. On. On. Okay. 
Efendim? Salak. Hadi lan. There you go, boom! The enemy has gone. Look at the pretty stuff. Alright. So we have escort here. Oh yeah, there are escort missions in this game. There are escorts. Let's go to the patrol pilot to the patrol, to the uh, portal. Okay, we're one for fun. Thanks for stopping by, watching the Giant the Lion stream, and a little bit of uh, Star Wolves here. There will be plenty more Star Wolves where this came from, so uh, yeah, we should get into more of the uh, missions uh, next weekend. Great, you're yeah, doing well, and yeah, something else. So we escorted the uh, ship there. Yeah. And so now what? Yeah, I wouldn't want to run a marathon, man. That's a lot of work. Uh, what's supposed to happen next? Hmm? Escorted the ship. I oh, have a log here as well.
Oh, you can make the fly to the mothership. Now, what's your water time? The quest log. So you have the quest log, and then you have the dialogue log. So you always if you don't understand how to do something, you want to check both. So, um, clear. And there we go. We're gonna go to the mothership. And we'll speed this up. Unwilling to die. Oh, the enemies here. Affirm. Target locked. Do we have any missiles left? No. Well, I probably do. You might as well use them. Hopefully we don't die here. Depleted. Those are my last of my missiles. Mother ship gun to be able to destroy these fighters. Oh. I got the flash ship. Keep missing it, which is not good. There we go, we're getting some damage to this rookie pilot. And as we as do some missions, you'll notice that there will be a lot more enemy ships than what we're seeing here. We'll be outmatched. Almost all the time, once we start the missions. But finally, I think I'm getting to understand the, uh, how to attack and move and all that stuff. So hopefully that will be good. Yeah, one more shot here and he's dead. Ah, oh, they got what they wanted. It's time to teach you how to handle a mothership. You drove a simple transporter, but before our base was in the military ship. The mothership is a mobile, bo mobile base which we can rig up with different weapons and advanced technology system. We can repair and reload our fighters on it. The mothership can also salvage what can be sold for a profit. Let's enter the hangar. I hit the, oh, the base here. What is there to do? Send everybody back to base. And they'll be coming in here. Let's speed this up a little bit. Docking completed. 
One pilot on the base. Team. One of the best days of my life is when I left the patrol after working in that rotten organization. Anything seems better. Okay, last chit chat. Let's get to work. Open the map and lead the Star Wolf to the portal. So we take this. What is there to do? Everybody's heading to the portal here, I think. Okay. We also have different cameras, too. I was going to, no one can do chasing the, uh, Tutorial, and the tutorial has been completed successfully. Alright, so that is all for the uh, tutorial. So it is a good idea for in Star Wolf to actually go to this... Actually a good idea to go through the uh, tutorial. So you understand how to move, and how to attack, and how to use your missiles. Because all of that is very, very, very important to this game. But, I think we already started a new game, and with a new game, there's also another cutscene here. So, let's do watch the cutscene, and uh, we'll start the game. So, we have the first contact. stuff's happening here. So it's easy, normal, and hard. We will be playing on normal. Even though this game is hard, we will be still be playing on normal. So I did know some secrets to this game. Um, on uh, what to choose and stuff. So you have to choose uh, how you want to build your hero. Yes, the back and rise, imagine that. We'll run for fun as she uh, runs for fun. Yeah, actually my uh, co-worker also runs for fun as well. But uh, I don't like running so it's definitely not for me. So you have four different custodies, piloting, gunnery, rockets, and so So each one of these has a different layout. So if you uh, specialize in piloting, you can uh, avoid enemy attacks. Which is also quite... Uh, quite uh, good to do. But as you see here, um, you get your basic piloting and master blah blah blah. 
We also get the uh, gunnery skills, and you also get um, inspirational skills, and uh, system skills. Let's remember, once you see zombies, once you see start seeing zombies running around, you'll get some cardio. But uh, yeah, so that's how these skills are broken up. Obviously, the numbers underneath them uh, tells you uh, how much uh, experience you need to level up. Each one of those skills, and the quick learners are going to be number one priority for me. So we have the uh, gunner here, so as you see there is still some piloting. And then we have obviously gunnery and that's what uh, we'll get up. And the missile was a pretty useless in this game. And uh, inspiration. Which is special only if inspiration uh, track is only for your hero. Because you can spy your, uh, your uh, team. And then you have uh, system skills here. Now, system skills are very powerful at the end game, but they're very crappy in the. Uh, in the beginning of the game, so we are kind of like the uh, kind of a swap off there. So it's kind of like gunnery here. Gunnery is really good in the beginning, but uh, it tapers off when we get towards the end game. Now we have missiles, obviously. So you have a strong missile uh, trail here. And then you have the system path here. And the system skills affect your entire, uh, your entire uh, crew. And not just yourself. So that's well, something to think about. But well, we're gonna go with uh, Gunnery here. The first time I played this, I think I chose like piloting up there. So we're on the Hosina here. So, alright, we're gonna go with Gunnery here. So, uh, as you can see, you got basic Gunnery. They get more accuracy and more uh, lasers get the uh, bonus. Let's go next. So these are our two characters and that's how much XP we have to use our various systems. So we get to choose which one we want to do here. So we have Alexina and we have Ace. So the uh, NPCs have different skill trees than yourself. So we're gonna get quick learner here. They learn 20% uh, faster. And then the uh, upgraded version learns 40% uh, uh, faster. Piloting becomes important in this game. 
So we're gonna get this. We got five points left. So I get basic gunnery, and then we're gonna get uh, basic paladin. I think that's all we're going to do for him. Can't choose anything else here. Then Ace. We got a proof sniper shot. Uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. So this is only one skill you guys can get. You can get King Dunno. There's all kinds of uh, cool stuff here. And there's a black market. So Sniper Shot becomes pretty powerful. 500% more damage, 700% more damage. So we're gonna go with uh, King Gun on here, so that's everything we can get. So we're gonna eventually get favorite weapon lasers. So this would be awesome here. Lasers are the uh, the best weapon in this game for the most part. Um, some enemies are good against lasers, but uh, mo for the most part, lasers are the uh, go-to weapon in this game. So we're gonna apply the changes here. So there's nothing else for us to get here. Then we have a mothership for Star Wars. So we start out with um, 500 gold or 500 credits or however you want to call it. We have the Piranha. We have unguided rockets. Mini rockets. Another gun. We have guns here. I don't know what I want to spend my money on. We have like a mini gun here. How much does it cost? Is the question. So we have another uh, system. And we have the big war axe. We do have the piranha and the mini missiles there. So we have no system to put on. So we're not going to buy anything here. We'll go with what we got here, as is. And then we come to this screen here where we have like news and everything else here. So we have this. Sensational news has been received from reliable sources. An archaeological expedition has found irrefutable evidence of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. 
thousands of cubic kilometers of space filled with artificial objects that are apparently alien in origin. A new expedition under the Aegeus of Inoko Corporation is now being prepared. Its aim is to carry out a detailed study of the found wreckage. Here you go. For the last week, there have been 11 attacks on transport craft in the Prosperine, Escathlon, and New Kyoto systems. According to reliable sources, pirates attack in large groups, acting impudently, with total confidence, using standard pirate tactics. In all cases, they managed to escape before the arrival of the authorities. According to the second-in-command of the patrol, the situation is under control. Strengthened patrols are covering the sector. Yep, yep. Uh, another for me. Oh, cat me! Oh, they have captured a lot of pirates, smugglers, and other scum. So I don't so have so much to tell. Let's call my face scum classification. There are many different pirates united by two common qualities. They are always low on money, and they aren't good pilots. If they were, corporations would would, would hire them. Pirates are constantly on the run, robbing traders and selling plunder at the first bar. You can't earn much money that way. The result is, they never have enough money to buy good craft and weapons. I will send you descriptions of how to do fighters and some thoughts on how to fight against them. Peace. P.S. and yes, and some bad news. All of what witness to for you, about 95% of the pirates. But sometimes I run into real professionals. And then you need to handle yourself real good. Okay, enough scary tales. You'll find out. You'll soon, you'll soon find out. And, uh, and here's our mission. A routine patrol mission, uh, routine patrol mission contact. Customer is remote oxygen factory. Standard patrol mission, we need to make a uh, reconnaissance patrol during the route. Guys from oxygen will want to be sure that there are no unwelcome guests in the system. Ace is commentary. Reconnaissance patrol is an easy way to get some money. Okay. Let's Launch do it! Completed. We're almost there, that's our client oxygen station. Let's fly to it. What is there to do? Liquid oxygen station to uh, get our first mission here. This is Oxygen Station. Please identify, identify yourself. This is the mercenary Star Wars, Unit Star Wars. We arrive, arriving to complete your orders to uh, patrol the sector. We've been waiting for you. This is a simple task. Standard patrol run at nine points. We are ready to pay 1,000 credits. We, we've been finishing the reactivation of this plan, plant, but our guys from security haven't arrived yet. Fortunately, this part of space is almost de desolate, so there's nobody around. In fact, your reconnaissance mission is a formality. Oh, thanks, sir. I spoke with the text and heard a rumor that pirates have been spotted in this region. It's just gossip. But if it's true, it's just another opportunity for you to get cast. You are bounty hunters, aren't you? Hunters, hunters, you better talk more about this task. Alright. Now point Alpha Beta located inside the asteroid field. Point Gamma is just an old inactive portal. There is an old deserted observatory at uh, Nav Delta. It's used as a warehouse. Inspect all four Nav points and uh, report back. Okay. So we can go all hit all four of these.
what is there to do? So you definitely want to bring your mothership along with uh, with for these uh, missions here. So let's head to Alpha. Nothing interesting here. I've never played uh, uh, digital Dega Sava, but I'll take your word for it, Leonard. I will take your word for it. So we have everybody here. And then uh, now Beta, let's go here. Roger. Go beta, Alpha, the uh, us, we go to Beta. On my way. Alpha, Beta, the Delta, Gamma. Right, but in this game, it doesn't matter which, uh, which, uh, not push here first, second, or third. Enemy on the Oh, we have some enemies here. Mothership in there too. Everybody's firing at the uh, Wookie Pilot here. The ship is actually killing everything here. Oh, 
So that was the uh, container. All kinds of goodies. So we got all kinds of uh, stuff here. And I believe the uh, mothership had different uh, uh, cargo space. And you definitely want to pick up all cargo in uh, this game. Because you can sell it or reuse it. Because you, as you saw, there were some missiles in there. Let's uh, do a quick search here. Sure, there's no other goodies laying on. I don't think there was any. All right. Stage ready. Uh, let's go to Delta here. Target acquired. No. Target acquired. Clear. Let's go there. to our uh, third now point here. Why can't I zoom in? It's always turn to follow. Oh, you got the next now point here. Doesn't look like there's any enemies here. I guess your ship is half destroyed. I imagine that there will be another uh, fight here. At the uh, portal. And if you really want to game the system here, you can actually you can actually blow up uh, neutral targets and not have any uh, reper repercussions. Which I think I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna attack these traitors. Enemy contact. We want the goodies, man. Want the goodies. I think transport containers are just stuff we can just sell. So nothing good. Nothing good. Um, let's go and Up there. Do it again, my here. Stage ready. Uh, there'll be probably more pilots here. But the very beginning, money becomes very important. Uh, 
hurting towards the light here. Uh, be sure you bring your sunglasses. Next one willing to die. Okay. Got a couple more uh, pirates here. Confirm attack mode. Five missiles here. On my way. Let's do it. Oh my god, so many pirates! And what happened to my mothership? And we died, I didn't save it. Oh man. Yeah, game over. Game over. Oh, still alive. Where's the mothership? Yeah, mothership is uh, a little lagging, low behind. But since we don't have another ship, and ships are very expensive, we're we'll probably gonna start over if we win this. Let's see what happens here. I don't have much control here. What is there to do? Stage ready. Right, uh, um, pick up the cargo here. Yes. Okay. 
Stage ready. Affirmative. We'll see what happens. We'll probably end up uh, restarting this portion next week. And actually, I'll save the game in increments so that uh, we'll be sure that we can uh, make sure everybody survives and all that stuff. Let's see how this works. We need somebody dies. Alright, let's go get our prize. Stage ready. down here see how death works in this game it might be the only time you'll be only time you'll be seeing this how was your flight we see the message that you found something much for formality mission. We are a real battle of pirates. We should be paid double. Nobody asked you to fight them. It was a reconnaissance mission, not combat. So the battle was your own initiative. I've heard of patrol paying rewards for shooting down pirates. Of course, if you have proof, an escape power of pirate in it. In any case, you put it in. Reporting in, Alpha is clear there are some pirates in a transport of Beta and some pirates at Gamma. By the way, the portal was active. In all appearances, it's in the hands of the pirates. Delta is clear. Alright. All signs are apparently attacked the station while it's unfinished and the turns are offline. All that you need to do is just destroy the security forces and then troops. We will ask the Navy for help. That will give them as powers a good thrashing. At the, at the same time, the fact that the pirates are here explains why the portal is experiencing problems. Thank you for a job well done. You helped a lot. What happened with the portal? Just a few months ago, our ship passed through the portal had disappeared. Construction was hectic at the time, so nobody checked the portal. It was just closed down. But it was still possible to get us through the portal that saved us. A group of technicians heard our distress call and came promptly and deployed a new portal so communication was restored. Since then, we've always used a new portal. We're going to examine the old one after the station was launched. Have a good life here, so what's next? They say that the Red Corsair is back and that he wants to organize all the pirates. Maybe he also has a hand in the event. It's possible that the old portal was redirected to the power sector, so all ships that left here fell into their hands and now they think they are strong enough to capture us. Well, the Navy will show them. Hey, thanks for the hoster, Hatnix. Roger, good luck. Oxygen wolves are leaving. Rapid deployment of uh, Navy forces are arriving. I feel sorry for them. Okay, and then. What is there to do? We need to go back to Endoria here. What is there to do? Yes, we have a hat next raid here, so if you guys are not already, feel free to give him a follow. And he's playing some transistor. That's a game I haven't played yet. So let's see what happens when they're competing in this mission. We'll probably end up uh, reloading and restarting this uh, mission. For the mothership here. Mm 
Now in the menu, you can check experience upon and have gained and credits earned. You may also find information about any powers that you have captured during the mission. Then we got 300. And we got plus 5 XP. Oh, my age quit in transistor, huh? <laughs> we got three rookie pilots. You know? Don't really have any points or anything. She's gonna. Nah, you can't do nothing. Sell stuff. Mm. Oh, this is uh, buying. You should be able to sell some stuff somewhere. Maybe it's sell. Uh, maybe it's the black market to sell stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna sell stuff. I have one ship. This is the problem. How much is this ship? Oh, it's free. Oh, the trade post. They're very expensive. Very expensive ships here. That is my uh, backup fighter, so that is not good. So we can sell these bad boys here. Selling that. Really, a lot of money for selling these containers. Nice. So this ship has no guns on it. And Yeah, that's pretty bad. Right. Now I got like lots of credits. There's all kinds of other stuff here. I'm probably gonna end up restarting this game. Because I don't want my uh don't want to lose my ships. But uh, I think I'm gonna wrap the stream up here for tonight. To give you an idea of uh, what this game's about. It's a pretty cool game, has lots of interesting mechanics. You can sell stuff, you can blow up transports to make get more money. Uh yeah. So we will be uh continuing this again next weekend. 
So uh, we'll play this again um, next uh, Saturday. Probably around 5 p.m. And uh, we'll make some progress. So we will not be playing the this tutorial again uh, next weekend. So we go straight to the game. And then we'll restart and um, save it. We will save it more often. This game is uh, definitely uh, going to be hard. Don't be hard. Since considering I died in the tutorial and I died in the first mission. So. Yes, if not already, feel free to follow me here on Twitch and on Twitter and uh, Discord as well. So let's uh, see who we can raid here. Ooh, raid, raid, more raids. Oh, let's give CarTube a raid. Since we're in the uh, space genre right now, he's playing some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the Xbox. So. Indeed, Bax and Wise, indeed. I did not listen to my own advice. I did not listen to my own advice. Uh, uh, that's a little raid message. Um, hope Zeno Raid made a force be with you as it was not for me. So, um, thanks again, everyone, for coming, and I will catch you all again next time.